Hello again and welcome to another episode of Bullseye Camera Systems TV. Today I'm going to be taking you through part one of a three-part series software tutorial for the Bullseye Target Manager software. Today we have our Long Range Edition unit right here in front of me. Each Bullseye Camera Systems has its own unique device ID. So when you're using an iPhone, an iPad, a Windows based laptop or an Android device just make sure that you're connected to that device ID. Okay, Let's take the uh, Windows based laptop and get you up and running. So we just plug the USB thumb drive into the laptop. Now you want to go to my computer, click on Bullseye Cam, double click on Bullseye Target Manager and start live mode. First thing you want to do once the uh, screen pops up is go ahead and maximize your screen. Now as you can see here there is a white dotted line all the way around uh, that comes up basically automatically uh, as soon as you fire up the system. This is your define target feature. You can see that that's uh, highlighted there. So uh, for define target that's actually our digital zoom function. If you just want to drag those boxes to the outer perimeter of your target area so we can define the target. So we've just defined the target now what we want to do is click on target view. When you click on target view that's going to show you everything that you just defined. Okay, And if you click on full view that's going to show you everything that the camera is seeing. So we've just gone over define target, target view, and full view. The next thing that we want to do is go ahead and click on shooting mode. Okay, when you click on shooting mode, there's a red bar that pops up. It says shooting mode active. Press the space bar after each shot to see the last shot blink. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is simulate a single shot, and we'll go ahead and simulate that shot now. I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar, and there's our first shot on the screen. You can see it clearly blinking on the screen and as soon as I press the space bar a new image showed up down here. One of the best parts about the bullseye camera system is the fact that you the shooter gets to review how you want to review your shots. Now I've got one shot on the screen I'm gonna go ahead and take a three shot group. I've just simulated a three shot group now I'm gonna hit the space bar and there's my group flashing on the screen. Okay, This is a great feature for guys who are just interested in seeing their last group flashing on the screen. This works great for load development. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a few more shots on target. Okay, I've just simulated another three shot group. I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar to see that group flashing. And there it is. Now, some guys who are uh, interested in marking their shots. What you can do is actually go ahead and press the space bar one more time without firing a shot and that's going to keep those shots from blinking. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to target view and zoom in there. Now I want to mark some shots. As you can see down here there's an icon that says mark shot. So I'm going to click mark shot. This was my first one. I'm going to mark that one in white because that was my fouling shot. Mark that one in white. As you can see, it pops up the number one. Now, let's say that this was uh, my first group of three shots, and I want to mark that a different color. You can go over here to active marking color, and I want to mark those shots in blue. And I want to mark all three of them in blue. So, I've selected my color right here. I'm going to click on mark shot. And because I'm marking more than one shot, I'm going to go ahead and press the control key on your keyboard and mark all three of those shots. One, two, and three. Okay, And if you want to get out of the uh, marking shot mode you can simply press the escape key as it says down here. Okay, Shot marking mode, hold control down to mark multiple shots or press the escape key or uh, press escape to exit without marking shot. So I'm going to press escape. Now I'm going to select a different color. I'm going to select orange. For my next three shot group, mark shot, press the control key, and there was one, two, and three. So I'm going to press the escape key again to get out of marking shot mode, and I'm automatically back into shooting mode, shooting mode active. Okay. Now this show markers icon right here, 
If I press that, all of my mark shots go away. If I want to shoot more, I can shoot more, mark more shots, select show markers, and show them on the screen. Now what I want to do is go ahead and review those previous shots in order. So I'm going to take the markers off, I'm going to select uh, shot markers, and as you can see, the markers are off the screen. Now I want to go back and select these thumbnails. Okay, I press on number one, it shows me the first shot flashing on the screen. If I press image number two, that was my first group of three shots. Press image number three, that was my second three shot group. Okay, And this is the shot that I took with um, no shots fired just to keep those um, uh, bullet holes from blinking on the screen. Okay, So that's your shot review mode is simply by clicking on these images down below. Now I'm going to show you guys live video. Okay, the live video function is right here. If you select live video, live video streaming mode active, press the space bar to capture an image. So a lot of guys like to use the live video image if they're using steel targets. If they're shooting steel targets, uh, targets that are moving a lot, I'm going to go ahead and put my hand in front of the camera just to show you guys that this is very similar to like a security type camera, okay? That is our live video function. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on new session. Okay. If you select new session, are you sure you wish to start a new session? The answer is yes. Right here you can actually write a description uh, or add any notes pertaining uh, to that shooting session. Okay. I'm not going to save these shots, but if you want to save those images and, and load them at a later date, you certainly can. We're going to get more into that on part two and part three of this software tutorial. Select OK. I just started a new session, all on the same target, and as you can see here, all of my previous shots are now gone. The last function across the toolbar on the bottom is data overlay. We will be getting into data overlay during part two of our software tutorial uh, when we go through the active profiles. Well, that concludes part one of our three-part series software tutorial for the Bullseye Target Manager software. For more information on the Bullseye Camera system or our software, feel free to visit our website at bullseyecamera.com. We'll see you next time, guys. Bruce, you want to hold a minute? See that squirrel right above the target? Bob, hold it. Bruce. Damn.